Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I think the following video tutorial uh, is going to be enjoyed by many we are going to build something pretty nice hopefully again and we'll build some sort of uh, futuristic science fiction display thing and it's pretty easy, pretty basic, just follow along and uh, we'll be building this step by step you'll see how and I'll just right click the uh, standard cube to select it and I'll hit the delete key to erase it and I'll hit 7 on my numeric keypad and 5 for the top of the view and I'll also right click the lamp to delete it we won't be needing it and I'll now hit shift A to add my a circle and one thing I'm going to do for this circle is increase the amount of vertices from 32 to 128 we want lots of vertices because we want our uh, display objects to be sharp and all don't worry we won't be getting too high for the uh, vertex and face count because most of our objects or maybe all will be flat will be 2D objects so let's see how this can move on now I'm hitting the tab key to switch from object to edit mode and I'll hit the E key to extrude uh, right mouse button to cancel any movement for my extruded vertices and I'll hit the S key to scale them down to scale the extruded faces down a bit ok now I'll hold down the shift and the alt key on my keyboard and select the outer row of uh, vertices as well and I'll hit shift D to create a duplicate you can see it right mouse button to uh, cancel any movement for my duplicate and I'll just hit the S key to scale the duplicated uh, ring to scale it in a bit at about here now you can see what we've done I'll also hit shift D for another duplicate you can see it right here and I'll hit the S key to scale it up just a bit at about here and I'll now hold down ALT and right click to select the, the outer loop here hope you can see it and I'll hit the S key to scale the outer loop at about here now tab key to switch from object to edit mode and you can clearly see what we got here I'm hitting the del key on my numeric keypad the comma thing key to frame the circle and I'll hit control alt and zero to place my camera here facing the circle and let's move uh, to the camera options to the camera settings for a bit and I'll change the focal length from 35 to 90 and I'm doing this because we're dealing with flat objects and you know a smaller focal length won't uh, offer anything for our scene and back to the uh, transform uh, data here I'll just increase the Z value the height for the camera and again we have the camera uh, facing down so I'll increase the Z value let's say to 20 and I'll hit 0 on my memory keypad to see how it looks and I think it looks pretty nice now render an image just to take a look and before I do render an image I've also increased the anti-aliasing to 11 just so my objects appear uh, pretty sharp and nice when rendered and I'll just add a material to my circles here I move to the material panel and click new and I'll call my material white ok I'll make it white bring the specular intensity down and I'll also increase the color intensity the diffuse intensity and I'll also bring the mid value up to 1 now let's render an image to see how it looks and you can see right here I'll also increase the uh, render resolution the percentage here okay 
This is how it looks. Now I'll hit the escape key and I'm back to my 3D viewport and I'll hit tab and all I want to do, I'll hit 7 for the top all of you, is make the, uh, the inner uh, circle here. I want to make it slightly thinner. So I'm hitting the A key to deselect all and holding down the Alt key to select this one. And I'll hit S to scale it down a bit. And again holding Alt and selecting the inner row here of polygons, of vertices. And I'll hit the S key to scale it up a bit. OK. Just adding some distance here between the, our circles. Now Tab key again. And we're in top of the view. And I'll now hit Shift A to add text. I'll also add the white material to my text here. Moving to the material panel and clicking here to assign the white material to the text object. And I'll hit the tab key and change the text. Let's change it to 03. Excuse me. 03. And again, I'm using the default uh, Blender text font here. This one. And I'm actually doing this because I want everybody to be able to follow without searching for fonts and stuff like that. So I'm at the text options here, the object data for the text. And I'll click center for my align. And I'll hit the S key to scale my text down a bit. At about there. I'll hit G to grab it and Y to constrain movement on the Y axis and move it up a bit. And I'll also move here at the modification options and I'll just increase the offset a bit, just making my text thicker. And I think it looks nice at about 0 0.02. Okay, now I'm hitting F12 to render another image and you see what we got and escape to move back to 3D viewport and I'll hit 7 on my main keypad to switch to top off of you and time to add another circle I'll hit shift A to add a mess circle and I'll set the amount of vertices from 32 let's set it to 48 okay and I'll bring the radius down from 1 to 0 0.2 or perhaps 0 0.1. Okay. Now I'll also change the fill type to triangle fan. Okay, and now my circle, as you can see, is filled. Now I'll also add the white material, move to the material panel, click here, and select white. And I'll now hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode and zoom in, zoom in a bit. I'll hit the A key to deselect all and B for the select uh, tool here and I'll select those vertices half of the circle actually and I'll hit the delete key and delete vertices now the remaining vertices and half the circle is here I'll hit the A key to select all and again I'm moving the vertices you can do it either in edit or object mode and I'll hit the G key to grab it and X to move it on the X axis Let's move it at about here. And I'll also hit Shift D to duplicate my circle here. You can see it. And I'll hit the R key to rotate and Z to rotate on the Z axis. And I'll rotate the copy of the half of circle for 180 degrees along the Z axis. Now again, Z to grab and X to move on the X axis. And move this one to the side as well. Let's place them nicely. D and X are about here. And now this one. Select one vertex and hit the L key while my cursor is over the object to select every connected vertex, every linked vertex. And I'll now hit D and X to move it on the X axis at about here. Okay. Now Tab key to switch from Edit to Object mode. And I'll select my circle here 
just want to do something here and I'll hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode, zoom in and I'll select let's hit the A key to deselect all and I'll select those vertices here hope you can see my selection and those as well and hit delete to erase faces ok let's move on to the other side, let's do the same thing here holding down the shift key to select the uh, the vertices here and hitting the X key and delete faces now I'll hit tab to switch back to object mode and zero just to frame the uh, the object here and I'll now hit shift A to add mesa plane we got our plane here I'll hit the S key to scale it down and zoom in and then scale it a bit more at about here and I'll now hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode and hit S and Y to scale it excuse me S and X to scale it on the X axis let's scale it up uh, about there and some more S and X at about here now I'll hit the tab key to switch back to object mode and add the white material and I think I'll also scale it, hit the S key to scale and Y on the Y axis make it slightly thinner too, ok now tab key or excuse me, tab key again, we want to be in object mode and I'll right click my text here, my 0, 3 to select it and I'll hit Shift D to create a duplicate and hit the G key to grab my duplicate and Y to move it on the Y axis I'll move it down a bit at about here and I'll move to the uh, options panel for the text I'll decrease the size it, it is set to 1 by default and I'll set it down to 0 0.1 let's say or 0 0.2 and you can see it looks a bit weird now and that's because we have the offset value here we'll set it to 0 and I'll hit the tab key now to switch to edit mode and change the text let's input some letters here and as you can see I'm using sharp letters just so uh, they won't be uh, increasing my vertex count and polygon count dramatically and I think we're good now tab key to switch to object mode again I think it looks nice I'll make it slightly smaller change the size from 0 0.2 to 0 0.15 and I think it's pretty good now I'll hit F12 to render an image and you can see how it looks and I think it's good for first part we'll be building more and now it's time to add some animation to it I'll hit the escape key for uh, returning back to my 3D viewport and let's add some animation to it I'm right clicking those circles here to select them and let's change the animation frames start frame is set to 1, the end frame is set to 240 I'll change the end frame to 300 ok so for frame rate at 30 frames per second we'll be having a 10 seconds clip here and 10 seconds animation and in order to add some animation for my circle here and I'm making sure that I'm on frame 1 I'll hit the I key and insert a keyframe for rotation ok now that I've inserted the keyframe 
I'll, I'll split my 3D view here and create a graph editor window and let's expand the rotation here and we have the X and Y and Z rotation and we only want our circle to be rotated along the Z axis as you can see here I'm rotating this on the Z axis so I'm going to select the X rotation, delete it and Y rotation and delete it again now I'm selecting the Z rotation, you can see it highlighted here and I'll hit N on my keyboard for the uh, properties here, for the tools here and move right down and click add modifier and add a noise modifier now we've used the noise modifier before and what I'm going to do is increase the strength because now it's pretty crazy as it is let's make our animation a bit smoother I'll change the strength, let's change the strength to 40 and I'll keep the uh, the strength well the scale is set to 40 and the strength is set to 1 and I'll hit 0 on my 3D view here to change to camera perspective view and let's see how it looks okay I'll just increase the strength a bit let's set it to 3 just to make sure that our circle here rotates pretty fast pretty fast or at least faster than before okay and I really like the way it looks you can also let's bring the strength down to 2 and the scale down to 30 let's see how it looks now okay so this is it we've built the first part for our uh, display thing here and final thing I'm going to do for this one is uh, I've selected the 03 here and holding down the shift key to select my plane and hit ctrl P to set parent to object I'll select those half circles here and hold down the shift key to select the plane again and hit ctrl P and set parent to object and select my text here and hold down the shift key and select the plane and hit ctrl P to set the parent to object and then select my circles here and hold down the shift key and hit ctrl P to set parent to object and I've actually parented every object uh, here with the plane just so I can uh, easily, I'll hit 7 on my main keypad and this way we can easily grab the uh, the plane here and every object will follow and this will help us to position our parts as we'll move on uh, building our display thing so that's the tutorial for now I hope you like it, we'll be building more parts and thanks for watching